The testimony of Kodro V. Silvio from Bogida in Africa, Togo. Hello, my name is Kodro V. Silvio and I am 21 years old. I am thankful to Sister Alice for inviting me to this past evangelical conference. From this past conference, I was able to discover the truth and receive the opportunity to be a part of the work of the Lord. During this past conference, I don't remember the exact verse, but I heard that we will be judged according to what we have done. When I first listened to this verse, it was not very significant to me. This is because I believed that I was following the law quite well. And I believe that I would also be one of the people that go to heaven. We learned about the creation of heaven and earth on the second day of the conference. In the Bible it says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. I learned the reason why God created the world for man. God is in heaven, how can he love man? God created this world that we are in. And then God created the first man, Adam. The Bible says that man was created in the image of God. I knew this part of the Bible very well, however, but because I didn't accurately understand the Bible, I couldn't find the clear answer about the existence of God. I learned that God exists through the Spirit, and I was able to understand through the sermon that because of this, we cannot see Him through our eyes. However, how can you believe in someone that you cannot see? In the Bible, it is recorded, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And then we learned about Israel. The nation of Israel was chosen by God Himself. It is recorded in Isaiah chapter 51 verse 2 about the chosen Abraham. When I attended the other church, I who believed in God believed that I was a part of the Israelites. I believed that this was a sign He just gave to me. However, now I see that it wasn't to me or to Africa, but God's word was given to the people of Israel. I have wasted a lot of time until now while hanging on to this false belief and not knowing that I would be going to hell. And then we discussed about our deaths. I had believed that death was when there was no more suffering and your spirit leaves. However, in the Bible it says, death is not the end, and after there will be judgment. It is recorded that we each have to stand in front of God. And not just this, it is recorded that we will be judged by the sins that we committed in our actions. Every time the pastor read verses about sin, like Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2, all those verses were applicable to me. In all the Bible verses that Pastor Kwan read, I saw myself in them. Even if I followed nine of the Ten Commandments that was given through Moses, the evangelist said that even if I broke one of them, I would go to hell. I thought, I had never once murdered anybody. Why does this sin of murder also apply to me? However, in the Bible it is recorded that even if we are angry with one person, in front of God it is as though we murdered them. Cain's anger led to him killing Abel. That anger led him to kill his brother Abel. I learned on the last day of conference about being born again. While listening to the sermon about being born again, 
He read us first Isaiah chapter one verse eighteen and chapter fifty three, but this did not become my own. During the break, I was reading my notes, and while reading Isaiah chapter one verse twenty, I realized that I was still within sin. J'ai pris conscience que j'étais toujours dans le péché. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 17 also came into mind. I realized the truth that through the blood of Jesus Christ I received redemption. I was born again through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus was shed in order to cleanse all of the sins that I had committed. Que j'ai commis ou bien tout ce qui est péché en moi. I give thanks to God for saving me, even though I do not deserve to receive this grace. I was thinking after I received salvation, even though it is a very simple message, there are many people that do not understand this truth. Ce que beaucoup de nous even though it's easy for many people to receive the thoughts of great philosophers, on the other hand, they do not understand about being born again or God's word, and they don't even try to listen. They argue saying that how can you believe in something you can't even see? Before God drove out Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, a beast was killed, its blood was shed, and tunics of skin were made. And he clothed them with these tunics. I was able to know the significance of blood and its value through these words. Because Abel caught a young lamb and shed its blood on the ground, God accepted Abel's offering. It says in the Bible, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Et la Bible dit que c'est dans le sang que réside la vie. I also learned while looking at Leviticus, the high priest Aaron caught a young bull or ram, shed its blood and took its blood in front of the Ark of the Covenant. The beast's blood must be poured on the altar. I was able to understand the significance of the blood here. d'une vache ou bien on peut dire I give thanks to the Lord for saving me through grace. De donné cette grâce -là sauvé. When I stand in front of God, what do I need to say? And so the words of John chapter 20 verse 31, chapter 21 verse 24 really moved me. Verset 31, bien le verset 21 et, et le verset 21 et le chapitre 21 verset 24 m'a beaucoup touché. Jesus' disciples have testified of everything. I now can no longer calmly watch all of these people go to hell. I will share with my family and the people around me that they could be born again through the blood of Jesus. I truly thank you.